Howard's Grove is a small town, I guess you could call it. About 3,200 people, I believe, live here. And they're mostly rural farmers and local folks. Some of the patients I enjoy the most are from the outlying areas. I have a lot of farmers, and so I've learned a lot about farming the last 11 years. Everybody knows that primary care shortage, and we need to get as many physicians to practice primary care, and we ideally need to get them out into our rural communities. Hello. Hi there. I really decided that I wanted to practice in a rural community by being a patient in a rural community and really falling in love with medicine in a rural community. Emily. Hello. I'm a product of two farmers from the town of New Franken, Wisconsin. I always like to say that how we actually measure the population is based on the amount of silos per block. I can remember neighbors down the road, a 90-year-old gentleman who had survived four cancers and was still out in the fields helping every day his son that was trying to make the farm work and um, seeing that dedication and that hard work and knowing that those were the individuals that I would really like to be at their side and help them live healthy lifestyles so that they can fulfill their life dreams. Says since yesterday morning. The program's doing a great job at identifying students that truly are interested in serving in a rural area and so they show up and they're enthusiastic and energetic and uh, and they seem to be interested from day one. Hi, hey, doctor. Hi, how are you today? Good. I think that the Wisconsin Academy of Rural Medicine and having a track dedicated to training physicians to work in a rural community is the main reason I was interested in the School of Medicine because I can really get used to working with patients that you see multiple times, uh, working in communities and caring for patients that are similar to the patients I'll be able to work with in the future. Students, when they come to a rural setting like ours, they realize that the physicians in the local community are really the backbone of the system and the majority of patients are never going to end up at UW-Madison or at a tertiary care center at all. They're mostly cared for by us. Oh, good job. Here with the WARM program, we see day to day what is it like for a doctor to be working in the community setting. That Looks good and you can it. sign it. The mentorship that I've had through the faculty have been phenomenal. They've provided a lot of advice and a lot of tales of wisdom. Bill is a 68-year-old male here today for an annual physical exam. I think working with the physicians in Howard's Grove has been instrumental in being able to really understand what rural medicine will be like in the future. They have an impact. I've actually received thank you notes from patients uh, for involving a medical student in their care and they made a difference. I grew up in the rural community and I think it's important to have uh, the students come back to the to rural communities and help the rural communities that need the doctors. It's going to bring a lot of good doctors into communities that really need them um, and, I, and I think the right doctors that want to be there the School of Medicine and Public Health, uh, by having these types of smaller communities that are willing to have students are really staying true to their name and focusing on improving the health of every individual in the state, not just individuals close to the school. And I think throughout our curriculum you really see that they take public health really seriously and they're interested in improving the health of everyone in Wisconsin.